Right, okay, um, we've got a right angle triangle essentially and we're asked to find the size of angle X. Now, as soon as an angle's involved, you know it's going to be trigonometry. So here we go, we've got adjacent and we've got hypotenuse according to, from the point of view of the angle, if I'm stood there. Okay, so that's going to be cosine of X equals the adjacent 60 over 110. Right, so when you're finding an angle, I'm going to have to, I'm running out of room here, so x is going to be equal to cosine minus 1, right, shift cos, right, 110. Stick that in your calculator, and you should end up with, and it's to one decimal place, 56.9. Okay, so we know that's 56.9. Now work out the bearing of B from A. Now that is this angle here. So if we know that this one here is 57 to the nearest degree, because it says to the nearest degree there, all right, we just need to do 90 minus uh, 57, which is 33, but you must put the zero there, okay, because bearings must have three digits when you do this. Okay, remember the rules of bearings are they start at north, north is naught and you measure clockwise, um, and you use three figures. So there you go. Last one, write down the lower bound for the distance of A to B. It's measured to two significant figures. All right, so A to B, lower bound, is going to be 105. Okay, and the upper bound, 115. I normally do um, my houses. Okay, so here we go, and this is 110. This next one would be 120, and this, the one previous, would be 100. Okay, there are my houses, right, and where would the fence be? And there's your upper and lower bound. Okay, fence, upper bound would be at 115, and lower bound would be at 105. So there you go, yeah, I d there are various different ways of doing that, but that, that's, the, that's the way I quite like it, I have to say.